So they're heading down towards the final corner. It's totally up to the lead car, Team Switzerland, to dictate the pace. He accelerates as he heads down towards the corner, and we could see dramas even here as they come out of the final bend. Watch for the back end of the car stepping out under its full acceleration. Switzerland leads as the green flag waves here in Malaysia. Their feature race well and truly underway. For Nico Hulkenberger under the rear wing, but pulled out, he couldn't see. He's saying in the wing, is he going to try and go down the inside? No, he's using his brain. And uh, there will be a clear, certainly the first four cars, first five cars, but the field is strung out and literally, as I mentioned earlier, that midfield group of cars, you can see them coming down the stretch of the field. Oh, there's contact, Australia tapped the back of Mexico, Mexico there, and Mexico gets spun round, the hand goes in the air, but it looks as though he may get running again. I think it may have damaged the wing of Australia's car, though. Oh, oh no, Hulkenberg being very brave, coming down through turn three, trying to get a run on Switzerland, but again, the, the spray coming off the tyres of Switzerland, on sight of him, and he could have been in big trouble. He's got to be patient, he's got the speed, he's got the courage above all, and he's probably got those cat-like wet weather abilities. You need... He's through! He's, he's through. through! Germany's taken the lead, Nico Hülkenberg is in front on the first flying lap there. What a, a brave move from him. Can he stay on in these conditions? Well, he wanted to get ahead, he knew by doing so he would be able to open up an advantage. He is just absolutely committed to leading and winning motor races. New Zealand getting close to the back of Switzerland as well. And he runs on and just, I think, caught the edge of the grass on the outside of turn six and seven. And again, Johnny Reid being having to be cautious. He can't afford to take risks. He needs to get New Zealand through to the finish. So Team Malaysia next in the queue. They're running fourth place. Great Britain running behind them in fifth. A wide line from Alex Young. He may be using his track knowledge. But Nico Hülkenberg storming away. What a move it was on Neil Yarny to take the lead for Germany. Switzerland taking a little bit more carefully perhaps in the early stages, but there is a long way to go still in this race, remember. And that's what Neil Yarny will be thinking about further back. You've got China and you've got South Africa as well. They're running uh, just outside, just in 10th and 11th places. In fact, South Africa having gained a bit. Ireland also up into 12th position. So that was because of the incident in turn one with Australia and Mexico. So Ireland being a beneficiary running behind Edwin Zouk. He's going to find a way, look for a way to get past Frankie Cheng. But of course, coming up into turn 13, there's not a lot of chance. That the, the chances will occur here, but remember the car that you're trying to pass will not know where you are. The car's over on the left-hand side coming down the street. Yeah, that's Team France. They're defending from the Netherlands, Canada and uh, USA, USA in the picture as well. Where are they? And South Africa was having a little look. Yeah, South Africa's down the inside of China if he can make the corner. He can make the corner, and that's what I was talking about for China. They had to be careful because Adrian Zag was capable of doing a run down the inside. He's done that through the weekend. He gets past China and now he's able to pull away. Well, relatively, he 